To make a short answer question, you need to go to your settings and your question bank. Create a new question and choose short answer. Short answer questions are usually single words. If you make it more than a single word, then it's hard for the student to get exactly what you're after. And this marks your questions automatically. So I'm putting some text in here. What is the capital of Australia? And as usual, I copy that and paste it up here in the question so I know what my question is when I'm looking through the list. I could have put in an image for the question. I could have put in uh, a video or audio stimulus. Um, I could embed a YouTube clip, but I'm just gonna leave this as a straight text one. The mark for this, one mark, I think that's usually fair enough for a one word answer. You can also put some feedback in here if you like about the question. So when, once they've answered it, you could say the capital is Canberra, um, it was Melbourne once. Um, you could even have an entire back history if you like about how the capital came to be. Just cut and paste from somewhere else. Now the correct answers here, you can have as many permutations on a correct answer as you like. There are, there's the option to add more blanks down here. Um, and the reason this is given is that somebody might spell Canberra correctly and somebody else might spell it incorrectly. Now you might, this is correct here, so I'm gonna give them 100%. Maybe you might just decide that if they spell it wrong, you're gonna give them a mark, but you're only gonna give them 80% of the mark for spelling it wrong. Um, one other thing I'll point out here is case sensitivity. Um, I'm actually gonna say that yes, case is important in this case because Canberra is a proper noun and needs to have a capital C at the front. But for other cases, you would just usually leave it as no, that's not important. Um, you could probably think of other permutations on how to spell it. Uh, maybe someone spells it like this and maybe any misspelling you might give them 80% for. So if they put anything besides these three answers, then they'll get nothing for this question. 100% for Canberra spelled correctly and 80% for these. Then you can change the penalty that they get if they get it wrong. Um, this works for something called adaptive mode. I usually just ignore this because I don't use that mode. You can put in hints uh, if you like. You can imagine how that might work. And tags are not really necessary. They don't really um, add much to the utility of the question bank. Save changes. You can see that it's highlighted here. So if I preview the question, what is the capital of Australia? Canberra. And submit and finish. And I got it right. Fantastic. If you make a mistake, you can always edit this later just by clicking on the edit button.